NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said on Thursday that NATO is ready to send troops to Turkey. Stoltenberg said Russia's air and cruise missile strikes were reasons for concern and that the alliance would defend its ally against threats on its southern border. Recently, Russian jets conducting airstrikes in Syria violated Turkish airspace. FIFA's Ethics Committee has suspended President Sepp Blatter, Secretary General Jerome Valk and Vice President Michel Platini for 90 days. It's also banned former Vice President Chung Mong Jun for six years from football activities and fined him $103,000. The Swiss Attorney General opened criminal proceedings against the FIFA president last month. Blatter is accused of signing a contract that's unfavourable to FIFA and making an improper payment to UEFA President Michel Platini. Blatter denies any wrongdoing, and Platini says the money he received was valid compensation for work he did more than nine years ago. President Barack Obama has apologised for the fatal US airstrike on a hospital run by Doctors Without Borders in the Afghan city of Kunduz. The charity has called it a war crime and asked for an independent international investigation. The US says the bombing was a mistake, but Doctors Without Borders says it can't let the attack go unchallenged, as it'd be giving a so-called blank check to similar military actions in the future. U.S. airstrikes killed at least 22 people on Saturday. The Afghan government, U.S. and NATO have been fighting against the Taliban since it raided the city last week. Belarusian author and journalist Svetlana Alexievich has been awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. The Swedish Academy called her work a monument to suffering and courage in our time. She recorded thousands of individual voices to produce oral histories, which documented the disintegration of the Soviet Union. The writer said the prize money of nearly one million US dollars would buy her freedom to dedicate her time to writing. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com Istanbul.